What up, everybody? I'm Jeannie. Welcome back to Magenta Tarot Messages. We're going to be doing a next 48 hour reading for the Virgos. I've already shuffled your cards, I've already meditated over your energy, and you already know what it is. So let's just begin. I'd like to thank everybody for those likes. Come on now. I'd like to thank everybody for those likes, can't comment, subscribes, booking those personal readings, subscribing to my second channel, Thousand Petal Tarot. Let's hop into this energy, Virgo. See what's happening in the next 48 hours. Spirit, we keep telling Virgos what's going on in the next 48 hours that they should be aware of. What's going on for the Virgos in the next? Thank you for all your messages, but that is too many. One card, please. What is going on for the Virgos in the next? 48 hours. We got hat. You will be playing a different role. There it is. Okay. We got psychic abilities. Trust your intuition. And then we have wedge. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want. Okay. 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 Spirit, tell me about this different role. Virgos will be playing in the next 48 hours. Tell me about this different role. Virgos will be playing in the next 48 hours. this role Virgo will be playing in the next 48 hours. Starting on him, shitting on him. Virgo, you're going to be playing a different role. If you have been friendly with people, if you've been um, cordial with people, I see you cutting out cordialness. I see you stunting. I see you um, to showing up showing up and showing out on people okay uh psychic abilities psychic abilities trusting your intuition psychic abilities in the next 48 hours reverse trust your intuition this is energy psychic abilities trust your intuition in the next 48 hours for Virgo. Directing energy towards the masculine. Directing energy. Okay, um, you could be uh, getting something. Your intuition could be telling you that somebody is directing energy towards you or towards somebody else. Directing energy towards a masculine. Somebody could be directing energy towards you. You could be feeling this, uh, sensing that something ain't right with somebody. Wedge. Something you're trying to, someone is trying to come between you friend or something you want. What is this wedge energy for Virgos in the next 48? What is this wedge energy for Virgos in the next 48? What is this wedge in love? Okay, this is definitely love energy here. Someone trying to come between you and a friend. It could be somebody that you love, something that you love. Um... Yeah, threatens you to never leave attraction. Got you all fucked up. Okay, deep cleaning needed. Um, you may have left somebody and they didn't like it. Okay, that was some weird energy, but we're just gonna keep it moving. We'll keep it moving. All right, what else do you wanna get me about this? What else would you like me to get about these? I'm going. Mm. I'm going to go with my first choice. Mystic Black. I got called back to it. so Sorry about my indecision. Uh, hat Energy. Stop going to Virgos. Hat Energy. Stop going to Virgos. Gamble. Okay, taking a risk, poker face, not showing feelings, rolling the dice. Yeah, somebody may have um, 
gamble they may not have showed their true feelings and now you gotta switch up on them you gotta play a different role you gotta stun on them now somebody may have taken a risk and now you gotta switch up on them virgo um or you could be taking a risk by switching up on somebody and playing a different role because fuck that shit uh, we'll see we'll see i psychic intuition directing energy next 48 for virgos side piece oh mistress flirting the other woman's secret hookup intuition and directing the mask the next 48 hours okay um bro. um somebody could be directing some energy like you could keep somebody like you don't know how let's let's change up the scenario he's standing there right across the room getting a drink you know somebody else across the room give them peep eye they gave me side eye they, they look at each other weird and you're like hmm you feel me you ever see some stuff like two people look at each other weird and you're like mm, that was weird you ever see two people like brush up against each other or um do something that would associate themselves with them another person and you like oh I peep that oh, oh. detective eye I feel like there's something you'll see some energy something you'll peep there is something you'll see in the next 48 hours peep game I feel like somebody is about to let something slip Virgo and you about to peep game okay uh, wedge in love wedge in love Virgo in the next 48 hours spirit wedge in love Virgo, next 48 hours, spirit. Wedge in love. Virgo, present moment. Ooh, wait. Extreme harshness cutting off at the bottom. Now that the present moment has came out, feeling in the moment, becoming aware today in the now. Next 48, it can be now to the next 48, Virgo. Okay, there's some type of uh, extreme cutoff. There was something here that you you broke up with somebody. They they still feel petty. They still feel jealous. They're still very broken. They still have a tether because of their ego. They won't let you go. And this person thinks that you're their soulmate, so they blind search it. They kind of get in the way in the present moment, Virgo. That's the point. Getting in the way. I want to be a getting in my way. All right, sugar, honey, child. Anyways, uh, hat, gamble. Well, who Virgo will switch up on? First off, who Virgo will switch up on? You'll be playing a different role. Who Virgo will switch up on? could be somebody you hustle with queen of pentacles at the bottom could be somebody you work with you hustle with okay um definitely could be a workplace environment um eight of pentacles tell me about this eight of pentacles energy the page of cups oh yeah you work towards something and it offered you something okay the eight of pentacles and the princess of cups oh with the five of swords Queen of Pentacles and the Seven Swords. Okay, so yeah, that, that's that shit that right there, baby. Okay, um, I don't know what this energy is, but I'm I'm feeling like I don't know. Um, gamble, take a risk, work, giving you rewards. But the Five of Swords here with the Princess of uh, Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. There, there could be uh, you could be switching up. Okay, you could be deciding to switch up, Virgo, taking a gamble on yourself, stunning on these hoes because I feel like you put in a lot of a lot of work, a lot of hard work towards something with, with the Page of Pentacles. They didn't give you much in return. It gave you, excuse me, the Page of Cups. It didn't give you much in return. Okay, with the Five of Swords and the Princess, the Princess of Pentacles, with the Five of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. Here, it talks about having conflict with what this is giving you, having conflict with this opportunity. The Seven of Pentacles talks about is this worth it? Um, it talks about a pause period to evaluate and see, is it worth it, Virgo? I feel like you may have gotten some news here. Okay. Somebody may, you may have felt like somebody manipulated you into losing out on an opportunity that you were working hard for. Okay. 
Um, tell me about this energy, the page of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles, the Hermit in the Reverse. I feel like you got some type of enlightenment. You've overcome this. You've received what you needed to receive in this pause period. Okay, what did Virgo receive in the pause period? Five of Wands, that you don't want to fight no more. That you don't want conflict no more. Five of Wands in the reverse talks about avoiding conflict. Trying to keep the peace. Respecting the differences. I feel like, Virgo, you just decide, you know what? It's all love. It's all peace, love, and harmony. Okay? I feel like that's the energy, Virgo. I feel like you were working hard towards something, but it wasn't giving you much offer in return. Five of Swords. You, it was conflict also with, uh, with the the opportunities and the desire that you that was around this anyways and with the seven of pentacles i feel like there was a long pause period where you got to evaluate is this worth your time and baby it wasn't you decided to avoid conflict and make heart uh wise heart over head over heart decisions listen to your intuition okay listen to your self-love i feel like you decide to stun them in the next 48 hours what is this energy Virgo is deciding to stunt on? What is this energy Virgo is deciding to stunt on? Eleven, eleven, justice. And the five of cups. Justice and the five of cups death card in the reverse you could be deciding to stunt on justice it talks about um, the government it could be a governmental job okay um it could be some type of institution some type of uh um the justice card definitely could be working with the government or the legal system the justice system or what you have been working on was fair at one point okay but it brought disappointment in regret here it was fair okay it was fair while you were working but there was still some type of past disappointment with the 10 uh, with the death card in the reverse this is something that you have already um known and already had regrets on dealing with okay you've already had disappointments or regrets on dealing with this thing maybe because of the fairness maybe because of balance this is something you already know wasn't fair okay you may have stayed in this situation for too long okay with well, the this the the death card in the reverse it could be dealing with a scorpio all right um let's see here is this a work situation in spirit illuminate this for me please is this a work relationship or a a a, a love relationship with virgo's please a work relationship or a love relationship with virgo please clover and work relationship or a love relationship for the virgos anchor stability a strong bond okay a strong bond where a strong bond where a gift trying to impress sexual yeah this is sexual dna this is definitely a relationship y'all okay sexual dna relationship baby okay sexual dna could be parent child too okay justice they were in charge they had that the authority but you decide to stun on somebody. Somebody's uh, rising up against the system in the next 48 hours, right? We're rising up against the system in the next 48 hours. Tell me how that, it, how that resonates for you, Virgo. I love to hear. All right, let's get into the next energy. Okay, we're revolting against the system, baby. Oh, I love that energy. The psychic, psychic, trust your intuition, direct your energy, magic mistress energy virgo for the next 48 hours what is this energy spirit psychic trust your abilities yeah this is giving me a scenario where you peep something you peep game you peep something you oversee some type of energy exchange you oversee some type of message you oversee something that just ooh, your your intuitions tingling your spidey senses tingling your your sense of sense some lies <laughs> sensor is going off virgo and you're just like uh-uh baby What's this about? What's this about? What's this about, Spirit? Tell us. Uh, the moon card, yeah. Something hidden is being illuminated. Secrets. Off top, nice 48. You peeping secrets. Peeping game on these secrets. 
uh, the moon card. What is illuminated? What's going to be illuminated to Virgo? What are they going to peep? Uh, yeah, something that's going to break your heart. Three of swords, baby. Something that is going to uh, make you angry, make you mad, make you hurt, make you sad. Something here. The moon card definitely will get you in the feelings. Two of swords. Then you could be finding that with somebody who's juggling. Okay. What did I say about uh, peeping that mistress? Seven of Cups. It came out in the reverse, but Seven of Cups talks about lo other love options. Uh, the Seven of Cups in the reverse also talks about confusion, uh, illusions, um, avoiding lack of clarity. Somebody could have been juggling you because they were avoiding. Okay, they didn't have the clarity they needed to pick you. If this is if this is you're dealing with somebody Virgo who doesn't know if they want to date you. If they, if somebody is in a situation Virgo. And they cannot decide to pick you or somebody else. That is a choice already. They have already picked that other person. Subtract yourself from this energy. Keep game on this person and hit ghost. What you mean? This, this Don't get me started. High Priestess, here's your intuition. I feel like you have been, uh, you've been, uh, you've been getting signs, you've been getting tinglings, a uh, little inklings, but um, you, you haven't have been clear with the Seven of Cups in the reverse. There, there's been lack of clearness. There's been confusion. Somebody was playing games. Okay, somebody was, uh, they were playing games with you, Virgo. Hi, priestess. What is, what's going on here for the Virgo energy? They were playing games, baby. They know exactly what they were doing. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. There, this person, um, this person couldn't have their, their Three of Cups at the bottom. They, they, they didn't have clarity, Virgo. That there was a lack of decision uh, because they. It's almost like they knew they had a, a a good opportunity. They know I have a good thing. I'm getting that good thing. You know, your love is a good thing. You're my good thing. Anyways, um, th this person knew that this was like a golden opportunity that would give them wish fulfillment. But I feel like with the Three of Cups, baby, they had somebody else. They were they were addicted to somebody else. Okay, they got the addictions. Okay, look, the death card in the reverse. This person did not want to end out a negative cycle, Virgo. Yeah, Two of Swords, they were indecisive. Indecisive, baby. Ooh, with the, ooh. They were indecisive about, um, with the Seven of Pentacles, they were indecisive. Okay, so the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse talks about no results. It was something, it was somebody else who they had no results with. The Six of Swords, the Six of Pentacles in the reverse talks about, um, not getting back what you put into something, okay? Um, it talks about stagnance it talks about unfairness it talks about being taken control of advantage of and the empress in the reverse is a nasty bitch okay the empress in the reverse is somebody who don't cook they don't clean they don't take care of their children be they don't do nothing they supposed to they aren't they aren't good they aren't good with money they aren't fruitful they aren't nurturing none of that this person is uh taking was taken advantage by somebody who didn't give them anything at all <laughs> they're indecisive over you or somebody who ain't shit Virgo. in the next 48 you may peep you may peep that there is a side piece that somebody is indecisive of who ain't shit Virgo. this person ain't shit and they're indecisive over an ain't shit person or you baby remove yourself subtract yourself to the situation okay i'm done here invite the situation in the next 48 hours, Virgo, you 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 go peep something, okay? Peep diggity dog. Um, my ancestors are, they have me in this energy where they're just keeping me moving forward and trying to keep me light and happy. They keep saying funny things like uh, peep diggity dog and like, <laughs> um, they're trying to keep it light. So Virgo, I feel like they're, it's the energy of just keep it light in the next two days. Just keep it light. Play a role. Stun on them. Remove yourself. Subtract yourself. Gracefully. Okay. Spirit advice. Advice for this situation. The full card in the reverse. The advice is somebody thought you were naive. 
Eight of Pentacles. Somebody. Mm, I see an energy of somebody who thought you were naive, Virgo. Because of how much you put into love. I feel like spirit is telling you to make head over heart decisions. Okay? And let it change. Let that cycle end. Okay? Go towards good fortune. Go towards better energy. Walk in your strength. With the devil and the knight of swords, I feel like... This person has given you uh, energy of toxicity. They gave you fear, worry, anxiety. They gave you, they gave you a lot of intuitive feelings. The moon card. They gave you a lot of intuitive feelings, and it's time to listen to your intuition. And then, it, baby, what should Virgo do about this person? What should Virgo do about this person? Spirit, what should Virgo do about this person? Cut out their lying ass. I have the discipline and authority and the power to cut out all deceitful, lying ass pieces of shit. Um, I'm sorry um, about my language in this reading. Uh, five of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Ooh, fight off poverty. Ugh. Anyway, this person betrayed you, Virgo. And now they're trying to manifest. That they can like withdraw and take control and still team up with you if they're patient enough and they give you enough love and offer to you that we can just transition this but not in that shit Virgo. In that shit. Fuck that dude. Fuck that bitch. Um all that and more. All that and more. Okay. Um and that's that energy. And spirit wants you to be on that energy. Fuck them. I feel like there is bigger and better things out there, Virgo. Bigger, better, okay, richer, wiser, okay, well endowed her, okay, more peaceful, more divine. I feel like there is a lot more in store, baby. Well, let's tap into this last energy, 2212 when I saw that. All right, um, on the recorder. Uh, with the wedge energy, somebody trying to get in the way in the love in the present moment right now. Yeah, I see. Somebody trying to get in the way. Okay, it wasn't her trying to get in the way. Somebody was indecisive, baby. So, mm. in the next 40 hours, I feel like, 48 hours, I feel like we're going, um, there's going to be some accountability. Okay. In love in the present moment. Tell me about this energy for Virgos. In love in the present moment. Wedge. In love, present moment, wedge. King of Pentacles. Could be dealing with another Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. The chariot. Could be moving forward with a with a King of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Could be conflict moving forward with a King of Pentacles. The Strength card. Could be because of a Leo or some type of in influence the emperor definitely a strong influence for somebody trying to control the situation the ten of wands causing burden conflict i feel okay or there is somebody here burdened by this the fool card in the reverse I feel like somebody's being taken advantage of. The two of wands. There's the plan. The ace of cups in the reverse. Ace of cups in the reverse talks about coldness, emotional, blocked energy. Uh, you may be dealing with somebody trying to move forward with them or somebody is trying to move forward, but they're being conflicted. They're having arguments with a 
Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy, maybe a boss, authority figure above them somehow, or somebody who is just controlling as fuck. But the Ten of Wands, it gives me the energy of doing it all. Hmm. There could be somebody you're moving forward with who is fighting with somebody else who is doing it all on their own. So they're coming up with some naive plan um, because the two of cups in the reverse because um, the person you're dealing with has been cold maybe. Um, Spirit, what's the plan? Two of wands in the ace of cups in the reverse. What's the plan here? Ten of swords, a painful ending. Somebody wants to bring a painful ending ace of swords that would be a victory for them there can be somebody you're dealing with who has a uh, uh who has a tag longer um somebody in their energy who wants to hurt this person they get victory from seeing this person have an ending maybe an ending to being with you why are you telling us about this spirit why are you telling us about this why are you telling us about this for the Virgos in the next 48 hours? Why are you telling us about this for the Virgos in the next 48 hours? The High Priestess in the reverse. Somebody's not listening to their intuition. Somebody is not listening to their intuition. There's doubt. Okay? There's secrets. King of Swords. The High Priestess, the King of Swords, why are you telling us about this? Five of Cups in the reverse. It's almost like Virgo, you're being told about this because either the person that you're dealing with is not listening to their intuition and be more disciplined the five of cups in the reverse this person could be trying to accept this and move on and find peace okay or this emperor isn't listening to their intuition okay about having the discipline to accept this and move on there's somebody here who's petty petty than a motherfucker Four of Swords. I feel like Four of Swords, Eight of Pinnacles, and the Ace of Wands. It's like somebody has withdrawn working for this person. Eight of Pinnacles and the Ace of Wands. The Knight of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Just one second, my baby woke up. Okay. So it's the energy of it's the energy of uh, this person could um, be struggling to to release this to accept this. They're not, listen, they're not listening to their intuition about cutting this person off, about having discipline, trying to find peace. But with the Four of Swords, it talks about resting. Eight of Swords, it talks about hard work. And then the Ace of Wands paired with that is like sex. Knight of Wands. 
So maybe this person is having trouble finding peace and withdrawing for this because They feel like they worked hard to get the position that they were in. They feel like they worked hard. For, it's almost like this person was non-committal, like Virgo. The person you're dealing with may have been fucking their ex in the past. Okay? They're having trouble finding peace with that. Spirit, in the present moment, next 48. Right. What's going on here? The Queen of Swords. Yeah, it's like they had, they would have sex in the past. Like they worked together, they would have sex in the past. Um, they were non committal, but they had a relationship that worked. Queen of Swords, and now it's being cut off. We have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, a divorced couple. temperance the moon hmm. the temperance the moon the two of cups so it's almost like this person the Queen of Swords, after they were cut off, they don't know the purpose of their relationship. They don't know the purpose of the partnership now. The Wheel, Seven of So, the person Virgo is in love with is just a person who is indecisive about the side piece, intuition. What's going on here, Spirit? Tell me about the person Virgo is in love with. What are they doing? What does Virgo need to know about the person that they're in love with in the present moment? What does Virgo need to do know about the person that they're in love with? The lovers in the tower. <sighs> what does Virgo need to know about the person that they're in love with in the present moment? In the next 48 hours, what you what you mean, Barbara? Uh, the next 48 hours. Well, that's my name, y'all. Uh, if you don't know, now you know, you know. <laughs> what does Virgo need to know about their person in the next 48 hours? Right now, what do they need to know about them? What do they need to know about the person that they are in love with? The Ace of Cups. Uh, they are in love with you, too. The Ace of Pentacles. Uh, that this is a new opportunity of abundance and prosperity and love. The Sun card. Um, that is bringing a lot of victory and happiness. Okay? The Strength card. Fool in the reverse. I feel like the strength card was in the reverse too. Four of Swords. Okay, the death card wants to come out. And the four of pentacles at the bottom. So there is Somebody that you're in love with that is in love with you too. What you need to know about them is that they're in love with you too. They see this as you do as a possibility for um, a prosperous new love. The sun card of happiness and clarity and all of that. But the strength card in the reverse. I'm going to read it both ways. The strength card in the reverse. The fool card in the reverse. And the four of swords. Somebody could feel. Oh, okay, there could be a Leo first of all. Um, with the strength card in the reverse somebody could feel like they maybe there's a lot of self-doubt 
okay? Um, there's a lot of self-doubt, insecurities, some fears, the fool in the reverse. They may feel a little naive, okay? The four of swords in rejuvenating. So the person that you are dealing with, Virgo, is still insecure. They feel... Um, They feel like they were naive and insecure, but with the Four of Swords, I feel like that is rejuvenating energy. And with the Death card, I feel like that is an ending to that energy. So somebody who you were dealing with was dealing with somebody who um, controlled them. They didn't offer anything to them. They um, They disappointed them okay broke their heart in the past made them insecure made them feel like they had a lack of strength made them feel naive and like a fool in love death card they feel like this relationship with you is transitioning that but i feel like there is also the, the underlining presence of the same person that hurts your person in their energy knight of wands the magician the King of Cups and the Seven of Swords. The Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this person is maybe a little non-committal, Virgo, I'm not going to lie. Um, with the Knight of Wands and the, the Magician. It's almost like they're trying to manifest balance in a sneaky way, like manifesting Wands energy talks about adventure inspired action impulsive and difficult to commit type of energy so it's the energy of somebody who has not gotten over their ex while they try to manifest love okay they just like tried to sneak away with you and now they have to come up with a plan for victory so they don't want to miss out on the opportunity with you but they have somebody who's also psycho keep my judgment to myself and get some advice and we're gonna get out of here okay advice for the situation please advice for the situation please advice 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 give us advice please spirit give me advice for what should virgo do about this person what should virgo do about this person that they in love with child what shit Virgo do about this person the three of wands uh, <laughs> the empress and the page of wands Three of Wands, it talks about turning your back. Okay, it also talks about waiting for your ships to come in. The Empress it talks about being fruitful, pregnancies, all of that. The Page of Wands talks about a discovery. It 
it's almost like It's almost like turning your back on this person. <sighs> clarify the Empress and the clarify the Empress and the Page of Wands. Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. Yeah, that's them. Wow. A divorced couple. It's almost like somebody needs to turn their back on some mother in the past. Um, somebody, they may have children with it from in the past. Um, with a page of wands, they could still be taking. They could be still like discovering, getting news, talking to this person or something from the past that needs to be ended. Nine of Pentacles two of cups somebody needs to be single to have a partnership queen of cups oh. the two of cups and the queen of cups Yeah. That's the energy. I feel like somebody here needs to turn their back on a divorced person, on somebody they're separate to. Page of Wands, they still could be getting news, um, giving dick um, to somebody in their past. The world's card, they need to complete out that situation to even be single. To even be single to have a partnership okay to transition this into love in the present moment to transition oh no man somebody needs to complete fucking with their baby mama baby daddy to be actually single to be in a relationship with you to the queen of cups they need to transition something with somebody they love maybe okay the higher fit the seven of wands i feel like this person because they decided to stand their ground because they are deciding to like i don't know not make a choice they may miss out on an opportunity with you I see energy in the present moment uh, if you guys aren't like dating okay this person needs to get get their shit together before you can't date that's the advice if you are dating this person and they have still not de decided Virgo that's a choice in its own okay in the present moment if somebody is letting a wedge come in between you two that is a choice on its own move the fuck around move around get out of there uh, don't do it don't do it uh, Okay, I'm going to get some actually closing messages for this one. Uh, I don't like how that ended. Closing messages for the situation. What should Virgo do about this person that they are in love with? What should Virgo do about this person that they are in love with? What should Virgo do about this person that they are in love with? Addiction. Aquarius. And draining soul tie. Ah. What should Virgo do about this person that they're in love with? Justice. 
stage five clinger. Reconciliation is shady. Uh, somebody could be addicted to the fame, the recognition, um, the healing aspect of somebody else. And uh, this is a soul tie that they need to get rid of. Um, somebody needs to bring justice to somebody that is a stage five clinker that they reconcile with um, under shady and who's shady who wants to reconcile with a shady or they did reconcile with a shady. So somebody needs to uh, <clears throat> make a decision here, Virgo. Um, I feel like uh, spirit spirit is blocking this situation right now. <clears throat> They, they've been gathering information on this person. If this person is in hardship, Virgo, um, it's definitely some type of manipulation. Okay, because they're fucking with an Aries that have put them in spiritual prison. In a dysfunctional home. Um, <clears throat> who's only an opportunist on the wealth that they can get from this person. Alright, they still love them. They are definitely still talking <clears throat> okay which I feel is a violation to you Virgo um, and I wouldn't deal with it especially if you love this person um, you gotta set your you gotta set your standards right you gotta set your whatever you want and then don't go with anything else right um, so that's what you need to do um, make them make a decision ultimatum type of energy um but being indecisive is already a decision. So I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Um, it's a no for me. This is what I got here for the Virgos in the next 24 hours. Peace.